In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. It is true that we have sinned and in need of God's mercy. But when we come to the Lord for His mercy, it is not with arrogance or justifications for our sins. Some of us do this. We come before the Lord, though with the intention that we have sinned and we need the mercy of God. But yet, with justifications and reasons why we had sinned or still ascribing blames, castigating others, putting them as the cause for our sins, if not for this or this person and that person. Sometimes it shows that we are not yet remorseful for our sins. By our sins, we are already torn, we are stricken, we are broken. Why not just bow and humbly ask God to heal us as we have walked that high to meet the Lord? We have summoned the courage already to meet the Lord at the confessional to ask for His mercy. Why do it with arrogance, but rather with humility? Sin by nature humbles us, puts our heads down, unworthy to even lift up our eyes to heaven. But this should not lead us to being impenitent or to fall into despair. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Let us come to Him with our heart humbled and broken, and surely He will never take away His peace from us. For a broken and humbled heart, the Lord will never spare. And may God continue to grant us His peace and His pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O oh, that to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance, that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the granting of what they ask, we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and the Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.